Hey there, gorgeous gays. Version 2 here with Nintendo Direct. Nintendo Direct E3. Hey, Marcel. Everyone, everyone's shooting in because it's a React stream and also my first stream in a few days. Life's been busy. Nintendo I announced a Direct and then it happened. And also Sony announced a Direct at the same fucking time. Um, so today is, today is our mini E3. Fuck yeah, let's go. Um... There's been a, a September to direct for Nintendo for ages, so people were predicting, oh, the, the rumor mill has started churning and there's leaks that there's going to be um, a direct in September, and it's just, like, based on it happening every September. So, you know, real brain geniuses to work that one out. Um, <laughs> um, Splatoon, like, just came out. So obviously I'm hoping that they'll announce the DLC now where we go to Pearl and Marina's wedding. Um, and also, honestly, I feel like it's been enough time. I think, I do think we need Splatoon 4. Yeah, I drink splashed up and hit my eye. <laughs> now I'm going, I've been doing fine today. Don't worry about it. Everything in my life is going fine. Everything about my body, I totally didn't pass out after between work and this today. Not at all. I totally didn't pass out like halfway while getting um changed from work. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That is that is slanderous shit to say about me. Um, so yeah, because like Splatoon just happened, I have no idea what to expect from this. I feel like every single Direct people say we need Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess to be ported to the Switch and I'm just like that is such a boring option. Like it's fine if they get ported right? It's it's fine if the Switch gets more ports because you know not many people own the Wii U or the new Nintendo 3DS. Okay well more people probably own that one than the Wii U but still. But, like, when people are just like, my dream for a Direct is a re-release of a game that I've played before. I'm just like, aim higher, please. <laughs> but what I personally want, I have no fucking clue. I can, like, the only thing I can think of that will probably, not pro, okay, not prob, not probably is the wrong word. The thing that I would want here the most is Breath of the Wild 2. Breath of the Wild 2 would be the thing that I want the most. Um... Because this is probably going to be the last Direct of the year uh, for Nintendo. They, I think they usually do like an indie one in December. Um, so I would like a, I would like info on the sequel. No fans just went the same five games over and over again. Why? Aim, aim higher than a re, than a re-release of a game you've already played. Well, we might get some Bayo information here. I forget when Bayo actually comes out. I can't remember if Bayo, um, I can't remember if Bayo three is a twenty twenty two game or not. Or, or whether they said it was 2023. My brain is telling me that it's 2022, and it is, like, soon. Um, but I don't remember. Because they announced, like, the triple pack with all of it. So I think it is this year, but I don't actually remember when. So we'll see the result. 3.45 million in the first three days in Japan. Wow. Yeah, that's fucking enormous. That's not, like, just big for Splatoon. That is the single biggest launch of a video game ever in Japan. Like, like no game has, like... Splatoon 3 is outsold in its, like, first three days more than any other game in Japan. And it's not even, like, it just edged out. Because I think second is New Horizons Animal Crossing. And I think that's, like, at 2.7 million. So Splatoon 3 is fucking massive <laughs> for, for its launch. Which it absolutely deserves. It deserves that Splatoon is incredible. But yeah, sometimes I realize this is somehow worse than the original one. <coughs> wonderful 101 Remastered. Sorry, I was coughing while saying the Wonderful 101 Remastered. Nintendogs? That! That's the type of that's the type of bullshit I want to hear. Shit like the Ted Dogs. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh, what? What's like a weird deep pull that I can go for that I fucking want from this? Like, looking at just the lineup of stuff that exists. What's like a deep pull that you could just go. For just some bullshit. Um. Oh. Ooh. There's a lot of stuff down here. Link's crossbow training two. Captain Rainbow two. Okay, you won. Okay, you won. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna watch this. We're gonna watch this. So then I can look at Twitter afterwards and see inevitably the pawn of the of a new character who's introduced here. Rob Switch version. 
<laughs> Give us new Labo. That's what I want. <laughs> I need to buy the vehicle kit. I want to do the vehicle kit stream again, but my vehicle kit doesn't work anymore. Turns out if you leave the rubber bands in a Labo for just sitting there for years on end, they break. Or they just dry out. Turns out that's what happens. Stun stunning information, I know. Uh, they dry out over time. If we adjust the market size, uh, FF8 would probably match Splatoon 3 in, um, release sales, which only further emphasizes how huge Splatoon 3's release is. Yeah. Yeah, Splatoon 3 has been m fucking massive. I mean, obviously, like, the Switch has a massive install base, so that definitely helps. Um, and obviously with stuff like, um, digital now. Digital didn't really exist in the era of, like, FF8. So, that's fair. A Rob Labo would have been sick. I would have loved it. But yeah, it's funny when you see people just be like, oh, who cares about in um about Splatoon? It's a, isn't it like a pretty niche franchise? Like, like okay, whatever this Splatoon thing is, I don't care. Like, it's funny how people will just wave off Splatoon as if it's a nothing franchise that doesn't... And it's just like, it's one of Nintendo's biggest properties. Like, when Nintendo, when Nintendo put up pictures of just like, this is Nintendo, it's like Mario, Link, and, and fucking um, an Inkling. That's like the big ones <laughs> nowadays. Like, that is the characters they put there. And possibly Isabel, because of Animal Crossing. But like, those are the big ones now. Um, so, half an hour in, did you say? I need to, like, do this so I don't actually see what any of it is. So, if I just click here. Did I click well? I think I clicked well. I think I clicked well. There we go. There we go. We're watching a video now. Yay! Yeah, that is very loud. Ah, oh, it's so loud. Oh, it's so loud for everyone. Everyone is dying. Everyone's dead. Everyone's fucking dead. We live on the continent of Elios. Four realms surrounding a holy land at its center. He yells about volume. A thousand years ago, our lands endured a vicious war with the fell dragon. We called upon heroes from other worlds to aid us. Heroes known as emblems. With them, the warriors of our nations fought as one. In oh my end, god, it's actually Fire Emblem. We were victorious Emblem. in defeating and imprisoning the Fell Dragon. Oh my god, it's actually Fire Emblem. <laughs> in the years since, our world has been safe. But now, I sense... We literally just got three hopes! We just got three hopes! <laughs> Oh my god, that was real! Oh my god, that was real? Toothpaste John is real! Oh my god, wow! Wow! I feel like a lot of people wrote that off as not being real because it's just so absurd. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> that, that, that was a while ago, that leak, wasn't it? That was a fucking while ago, right? And hey, look, it's Moth. Fire Emblem Engage. You're awake. Huh? You're really awake, yeah? A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep. What are those horrible things? If I may, you are a divine dragon. A member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. The war. The fell dragon. I feel like I can almost remember, but... I've had my eye on you. I'm trying to remember the if, ring. um... Marth, right. The name of the dragon in Awakening. I don't think that was Fell Dragon. Sigurd, leave it to me. According to the league, it's been done for a couple months, so they want to release three hopes first and uh, five and stuff. Quiet, this is... So I can't believe Toothpaste Chan is real. I can't believe Toothpaste Chan is real. The time has come. Now, as one... Emblem, engage! Grima, yeah. I can't remember if it had the title. I don't think it was Fell Dragon. Oh, uh, if you get that, you'll get to play in about 10 years, maybe. Uh, Grima the Fell Dragon. Yeah, so Grima was called the Fell Dragon. Okay. Grima was called the Fell Dragon. I was gonna say, it sounded familiar. Oh, Selena Slicker. They're the, um, Shadows, um, the Shadows one, right? Shadows of Valencia? She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. So is this game just, hey, we saw what Tokyo Mirage Sessions did, but we want to actually do it? Because <laughs> Tokyo Mirage Sessions is that. You summon in, um, wow, that is early next year. 
I cannot wait to play that in 2027. Hello, I'm obviously gonna finish Fire Emblem. I have to finish three hours before I, I start that. <laughs> I always have to finish three hours before I do that. Carmen Rider reference here. What you just well, I'm just like, because you have like Prom and Tharja in Tokyo Mirage Sessions, but they're like demon engaged. versions. They're not actually them. So I feel like Engage is just that, but real. Will also be <laughs> and also Three Fire Hopes. Emblem engage, divine edition, containing collectible items. Please look forward to more information about this game in the future. I guess if you compare it to the release of Three Houses, it has been like five headlines. years or so. Maybe four. See, there's also around the opening shows of Lords um, all the way to Violet. To yeah, to summon all of them. Hey, it takes two. Cody and May's relationship is on the rocks. <laughs> Until one day! It sounds, it sounds like Hollywood things. When I thought these were fuck the dogs. Oscars, guys. I mean, Epic Engage another one will come out, isn't that fun? Well, me starting Engage will be what releases the, the next one. Me playing forward. a game in a franchise is makes that one Team come out. With a in this this game is interesting. It's heterosexuality simulator. If you've ever, if you ever wondered what it's like being side. heterosexual, it takes two gives you a good idea of that. With challenging experiences around Epic Heroes corner. Console Edition? You're kind of not wrong on that either, play. are you? The game can also be played on two systems via local wireless or online with a yeah. pal. Yeah, I, I started three houses, and in the time of me since I started three houses, two Fire Emblem games have been announced. One of them has been released. It takes two. <laughs> if you want future Nintendo games Switch in your franchise to come out, get me to play them. Begin today get me to play Nintendo them, and that will cause the new ones to come out. It didn't work for Metroid, though. Me playing it stops Metroid Prime 4 from happening. I'm sorry. The rest of the time it works, though. Bring back voice actors. The voice acting in three hours is really good, so... Gameplay is fun, but sorry, characters are just ugh. As I said, they are the, they are painfully heterosexual. After mysteriously vanishing as a child, Luka Minazuki visits an abandoned hospital in search of her lost memories. Why do you think Lince is on Hollow Knight? <laughs> he wanted the, re the release of the sequel to happen. Again, it's just it's it's just an ability I evil spirits. Oh, this is Fatal Frame 4? Oh. Curse I just arrived. Have you seen the PlayStation trailers already? No! We're starting with this one and then I'll watch the PlayStation afterwards. Welcome, um, Gavire. Welcome back. Of the lunar eclipse launches for the first time in the west oh, yeah, Maiden in Blackwater is um, Fatal Frame 5. Hey! So we have Fatal Frame 4 now. Nice. Well, there you There's go. There's a new hero who looks mechanical? Why is your neck so big? Introducing wave two of the Xenoblade Why is your neck so big? Pass for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game. Who's this, this Pez dispenser looking motherfucker? Hero. She appears to be uh mechanical. Complete her quest to have her join your party. Just pop that head open Expanding and just get a fucking candy out of her neck. What the hell? Battle strategies. Challenge battles will I love it. <laughs> I love it. Consecutive battles against tough enemies. She's a robot proportions, <laughs> don't matter. <laughs> Why does she look like a fucking Pez dispenser? Challenge even stronger. Why does she look like a Pez dispenser? <laughs> and special outfits. And there's the horny. There is for the horny people who like horny. Hero and gameplay additions will arrive in Wave Three. Cerule Edge silhouette. I don't know what Cerule Edge is. Wave Two of the Xenoblade Chronicles Three expansion pass launches on Nintendo I'm Switch. I'm sticking with my October Pez dispenser 13. thing. Someone's into it. <laughs> and they Get can have it. Into these Nintendo Switch And they games. can have it. Nautical nonsense begins when SpongeBob and Patrick make a wish that unravels the very fabric of the universe. In Why this is Patrick baby? Adventure, you'll travel through portals to seven outlandish wish worlds like prehistoric kelp forest and wild west. Why is Patrick fields. baby? Explore using all sorts of wacky moves, don over 30 fantastic cosmic costumes. Hey, and it's the main one. Bikini Bottom residents from the TV series. It's Voiced the main by their one. Original actors. That's it. Soak up SpongeBob SquarePants, the Cosmic Shake, launching on Nintendo Switch next year. You're already fit. Box with familiar characters from Fist of the North Star. They'll be your instructors in exercise mode, leading you through various boxing drills. Defeat as many enemies as you can with just This is already the best direct that's ever happened. Or take on rivals. This is already the best direct of all time. 
Fitness Boxing, Fist of the North Star, launches on Nintendo Switch March 2023. <laughs> this ain't your uncle's dodgeball. Or the oh, best director that's ever existed. I do need to watch slash read uh, Fist of the North Star before I actually get to Lost Paradise. I am planning on doing Lost Paradise correctly. I do want to actually know Fist of the North Star before I play. I don't want to just randomly play it without knowing anything about this, about it. Being that it's like one of the things that like inspired early JoJo, I should probably watch it. <laughs> On my one motion, dude, I'm probably mispronouncing it. Like a North Star when? Well, I believe its release was after Yakuza 6, so quite a while away. Quite a while away. Hey, Tunic! I've heard people say good things about this. And hey, it's on Switch. I was about to say so I can play it. I have an Xbox. <laughs> I have an Xbox. I could have played this earlier. Lost Paradise is a loose uh, uh, um, adaptation of the uh, um, early Fist of the North Star series. I believe, I because I, I looked it up so, at one point, and there's like a certain episode or chapter that you can get up to, and then it takes place after that. So you'll be able to um, do it then. Tunic is good. After Manga, I mentioned this in a YouTube comment once. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I, I remember specifically there was a thing of just like, this is how far you can get for it. So I don't want to, like, I'll do it properly, I'll do that before I play it. Hey, my front mission, uh, front mission. Progress, you'll obtain skills that can help you gain I, I, I did see people lose their shit about front mission actually, like, being a, a thing again. I, I, I did see that there are some people who are just like, YO FRONT MISSION! Like, last time we saw front mission making out. Continue the battle Tunic is a great experience, or I added to the list. Outside of Japan. Take advantage of additional add it to the features, list. Like more so the thing is, any games that I want to play nowadays, you need to add it to the list. Because I don't have time on my own to play video games on my own. Especially with Splatoon being out. If I'm playing games on my own time, it's going to be FF14 or Splatoon and literally nothing else. Personally, a back mission fan, personally. Like, I'm just assuming you're trying to make an anal sex joke, in which case, hell yeah. But it's a it's obscure Japan only a RPG getting remade. After nearly 20 years, hey, how many of those did we get from Nintendo? Experience is reborn. Welcome back to it's Forgotten a farming Valley. Sim. Here, you'll manage a farm passed down to you by your father. Restore and expand your farm as you nurture crops. Care for your friendly animals. So the thing is, every time I see flourish. a farming sim, there's a thought that goes through my brain. Befriend Should I actually play Stardew Valley? In the valley. If I stream Star, you if I stream Stardew Valley, and start would I get a million views? Is that how it works? Those Harvest Moon, a wonderful depression. Time goes on. Their appearances will change. You can be non-binary and gay in this game. It's Your immediately the best one. It's immediately the best farming sim. How you raise them. It's immediately the best. An especially wonderful farm life in Forgotten Valley lies ahead. Again, I'm not against the concept of a farming sim as games that exist. Um, and I'm not against even the playing them. It's just I need something to be like draw me in. Like, you'd almost count Animal Crossing as that. Yo, Splatoon 4, let's go! It is true, yay. <laughs> hey, do you remember that Splatoon 3 is out? Oh wait, you don't need reminding. Oh, wow, this is early. Oh wow, this is early. The first post-launch Splatfest for Splatoon 3 Th This is soon. Confirmed. Here's the theme. What do we got? What would you bring to a deserted island? Gear, grub, or fun? Gear, grub, or fun to a deserted island? Oh, gross! Sorry. Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, shit! Um, okay. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it does go for 48 hours. I'll have time to play it. Oh, uh, that's a gross week. That's like the worst weekend for it to be on for me. Fuck. Shit. Okay. Uh, we'll have to work. That's literally not this weekend, but next weekend. And someone said, Marina, and someone asked, is that gear grub or fun? <laughs> I mean, I'd want to say grub because booze. New tricolor palette. Hey, I know. Yeah, there's also that. So many it isn't going to be. I mean, they always changed Splatfest colors last um, time in the previous enjoy. game. I wasn't sure if they were going to do that in this one, but they are. But they are. That's good. And 
More free that seems like it was. I, is, it, is that Hammerhead Bridge? I think that was Hammerhead Bridge. Be on the lookout for more info in the future. Um, that um is the tricolor battle one. Oh, I can I can play that Swift Fest. It's just. What did you think? I can't play it on my Saturday. What would you bring to a deserted island? Gear Grubble Fun. As for me, I've already decided. I hope you'll all participate as well. Gear Grubble Fun. Deserted Island. Next. Please take a look. The practical at side of me says that wants to say gear, but grub means booze. Grub means rum. So that's a tough decision. Colorblind is definitely colorblind friendly, by the way. Still in the grave, but better than um, um, uh, RYB. Yeah. That might be part of the reason why, um, yeah. <laughs> Whether they're actually focusing on that or anything. Ugh. Introducing a brand new game in the Octopath Traveler series. Eight new travelers embark on a journey through the land of Celestia. With that, we could realize a world without conflict. That's the trailer for me. Ugh. Bloodshed. I'm going to become a star and bring smiles to people's faces. Just like My Adam. response to anything on the path travel I'll is be back ugh. once I eliminate that devil called poverty from the world. The man who took everything from me shall die by my hand. Not again. Not this stench. The stench of blood. <laughs> it's kinda it's kinda why I wanna play Live Alive. Leave the hunting to me. I kinda wanna play Live Alive so I can play a game that's similar to this, but it isn't off the ball. I've heard anyone talk about Octopus since its release. I've seen people talk about the music a lot. I've seen people talk about the music a lot. Apparently, the music is godlike in Octopus. Our Lord knows well the ways of the world. What will happen when their paths intertwine? What's that big round? Let's go, Tenos. Yeah. And what adventures await them in this new world? Think I found the source. Job, huh? The eight travelers each have their own story to tell. Where will their journeys lead them? And you. The triangle strategy Octopath come out. Traveler 2 launches on Nintendo Switch. February 24th, I remember Triangle Strategy was also a thing. Did that ever come out? I, ne I never heard anyone talk about that one what in any you capacity. Just saw was Octopath Traveler 2 it is out. Square Enix. Because I had no one talk about that after Please release. look forward to the journey. Octopath is mainly heroes. music that I've heard people talk about. Let's see Which is square, so that's not surprising. But, you know. <laughs> a magical home. False advertising with the Cephalopods. Uh, the Octo I want is Octopa, um, Octo Expansion. Alright, we have an, we have, we have Support another farming simulator. Friendships in this farm simulation RPG. Discover magical spells to grow crops. Oh, Octopath got a mobile game, I think it's popular enough, but man. <laughs> and well, again, if it's like a new IP for Square, it makes sense, it's something they want to like, Along the way, investing you'll in. you'll befriend a lively cast of characters who call this island their home. Tend and grow your fairy tale farmstead solo or together with up to four players in local or online multiplayer. I imagine Octopath might also be one of those things where crafting items, because of be the HD 2D aspect of it, making assets for it is a lot cheaper more. than some of the As other the uh, um, change, RPGs that Square works on. So it might be easier to make more games for it. That'll help you restore I mean, <laughs> not as easy as Voice of Cards, but still on the re easier end of things. In Farm. <laughs> Just not Launching as easy as Voice of Cards on Nintendo because... Switch, spring yeah. <laughs> it's a musical blast from the past. Oh my god, it's Final Fantasy! Celebrate the 35th anniversary of the Final Fantasy series with the latest theater oh, yeah. game. Um, theater room, whatever it is. Songs, like one I'm gonna angel. just go ahead and not look at the screen. I'm torn from the heavens. Was that? Was that fucking Behemoth in Corthus? I think that was Behemoth in Corthus. I saw Yishal or Anita. Experiencing the series through the music. In addition, two players locally can complete stages in pair style, while up to four players can battle to the beat in Talk from the Heavens is the most fake thing, so yes. Hell yeah. The rhythm, Hell yeah. Begins its symphony on the Nintendo Switch like, if you're still an Edict of Second Rhythm game, I know! 
Pre-orders begin today. On the That's what happened after the Sildian Ruins after collapsed. After the game's launch, paid DLC songs from the Saga series. Near series. Okay, well. Octopath Traveler. That's Why the best way to experience Octopath Traveler. Be released. That's, not That's the best way to experience song. Octopath Traveler. Because you only get the music part. Additions containing a season pass and 27 extra songs, including Melodies of Life, will be available. The Alorna Rhythm Game. <laughs> it's also canon. Just it is also canon. Blast off on an adventure of galactic proportions with Mario and the Rabbids. Let's dive into exploration. Freely roam through all sorts of wondrous worlds, each one jam-packed with discoveries. Find coins. Unlock I wish that a game like Mario and Rabbids could exist without giving and Ubisoft the money. Locals with their troubles. Because Ubisoft don't deserve money. Shops, but the first Mario Plus Rabbits game is a genuinely battles. good game. I never beat battle, it because, you know, I'm a busy person. Get stronger. <laughs> I didn't stream the game, so therefore you I had zero chance of, of completing it, as opposed to like a 10% chance of completing it. Mario Plus Rabbits games are apparently really good, but they just kind of are making them for classic raving rabbits. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, again, um, Kingdom Battle is the first one's called. Mario um, plus is genuinely good. It's genuinely um, good. October the combat 20. is like really satisfying. Are available now on Nintendo e -shop. Though the overall exploration stuff is fairly basic, which seems to be something that's expanded Containing in this. the base game, weapon skins, and a season pass. Oh, no, I'm gonna show up in these games because that would make me nut. <laughs> Restore peace between what happens? What happens if Raymond's the guest character in a Rabbids game Room nowadays? Factory Three returns <laughs> on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Take a break from quests. Oh, we're in factory three. Locals, cultivate crops and care for monsters. Literally a confirmed the Raymond DLC for Spock's a couple days ago. <laughs> you can also transform into a monster. Your abilities in that's hilarious. With the that is hilarious. Depending on your form, your choices will also cause different events to occur. I'm Plus, not going to count this mode has been added as yet another farming simulator because it's a re-release of Rune Factory 3. Factory 3 it gets a, it gets a pass Switch of being a re-release of an older far, um, farming simulator game. So it gets it gets a pass. It gets a pass. Plus, a new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. A new wait, a new series? Like a spin-off of it? More Nintendo 64 games. That taste of a new on one or two is that boss. Pilot wings. Again, like an old classic series like Rune Factory. I feel like I'm I, I Mario Party. If it's more Rune Factory, it's just like okay, like Mario Party 2. Again, I feel like it's unfair to judge that because it, Rune Factory has existed for a long last time. Rune Factory 3, the one way you are is a sheep. Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium 2. Classic Pokemon Battle. I didn't realize there were mini games in Pokemon Stadium. I never played Pokemon Stadium. I didn't have a 64 game. I mean, this is trying to make us appreciate our will gradually be added in the future. You can play a selection of Nintendo 64 games and enjoy many more gaming benefits. Can you play Nintendo those Switch Mario Online Party games online? Membership. Can you play those? One more game we should can you play 64 ones online? Mini games, I'm saying honestly, why I spent most of my time with them. Hey, Goldeneye! Because of course, I find it funny for them to be in uh, listing all the sequels in order. Uh, I think so. I think they made games have online capabilities. Because Mario Party Online is like where it's at. The people who want to play the originals online as opposed to like Mario Party Superstars. Because Mario Party Superstars why is not different enough to not be the original experience. Switch and obviously, games. all the boards that didn't come back and everything. Live your best life on the newly discovered I told me what to do. Antoesia in this immersive RPG. Show of the S and um, Stance ones. Form over 100 types of daily tasks to I don't have the expansion pass, so it doesn't even apply to me. Relationships with the locals. In doing so, you'll gain access to different job classes and abilities. A grand adventure into the unknown awaits. 
Various Daylight launches on Nintendo Switch later today. I gotta say, if you're into Square, e if you're into Square Enix, sometimes causes you to crash land on a If you're planet, into Square Enix RPGs, from scratch, you've got so much today. Game. You're fucking eating so much. Did that say Factorio? For materials. Then uh, here, no matter how you can't do your days before, ain't fuck you 100 resources. dailies. Eventually, you'll construct multiple production lines like these. But the planet's creatures will attack. I swear this so song is from Kingdom Hearts. I swear this is one of the heartless Nintendo battle Switch, tracks October from Kingdom Hearts. A young girl named Ib visits an art museum with her parents. The ball, I hope 2D exploration adventure. She wanders through a busy gallery by the artist Guertena until one particular piece draws her in. Literally. Will she be able to safely return to her own world? Every decision affects her fate in Ib. Launching on Nintendo Switch Spring 2023. One of the most interesting things I've seen all, all the rest. Locally on one system can get gritty is getting a Primarily because it didn't look like uh, uh, other things that are already in the direct. A physical powerhouse with fast movements and strong tackles. And Diddy Kong. A midfield speedster with dazzling So Strikers lo definitely accuracy. looks like one of the um plus more gear plus and another whatever it's called. Being added. No, it is Strikers. Battle League. The second free update launches this month. So Strikers definitely looks like one of the better Mario um sports games on Switch. The is it a finished game? Begins. Does it actually does it have enough that it's finished, or is it just the best out of all the sports games on Switch, but it still feels like an unfinished game and has nowhere near enough in it? Because that's been like every single fucking sports game suddenly appear. Rise on Switch. And friends set sail to that's a really long title for your video game. I'm not going to remember impending that. Danger. Sprawling landscapes set the stage for your adventure. Freely explore this Are we at four? And forge your own path no single player content whatsoever. We just like playing the game. It's good. Okay, so it's every fucking um, from sports game on Switch. Awesome. Party. Awesome. During battle, work with your allies to activate various skills, which can be swapped out when needed. Teamwork is paramount. Also, fitness game announced a day after I saw the manga can't be a coincidence. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's the best game of the Direct so far. That is the best game of the Direct so far. Sorry, Ib. <laughs> Atelier Rise of Three, Alchemist of the End, and the Secret Key. Have on have a slightly shorter name. You knew I think it's made by devs who made the Atelier games. Then how is it just called Fire Emblem Engage? Wave Three is on the way. And not Fire Emblem Engage of the final Dawn Star of Fate. Racing into <laughs> Wave Three. Mary Mountain from Mario Kart Tour. Oh, Christmas. What are the tracks? Anything else to show off? Oh, Peach Gardens! Peach Gardens from Mario Kart DS. I remember liking this stage. I remember liking this stage a lot. In on DS. Again, you secretly an acronym. Just wait. You're right. You know what? You're right. Wave three of the. Mario now show us Party more. Deluxe booster course pass DLC. Show for us the Mario more. Kart Deluxe game launches this holiday. There's six more tracks. Show us. Be the best of it was deadly gory. <laughs> As you work DLC out, your just no everything just starts exploding. The Hell yeah! Can also be purchased on its own. Your How glutes are already dead. Next, we have some news to share about Nintendo Switch Sports. In the next free update, golf will be added. Damn! It's almost like that should have been on in the game when it came out. Engage because summon here is from previous FE games, a summon via Red Rings. Uh, use rings to engage with the summons, like the Rings of Engagement. Marry your waifu simulator, yeah. Marry your waifu, yeah. Those with the most strokes will be out. We previously announced that the update would release this fall. However, we'd like a bit more time for development, so the update is now planned for this holiday. Maybe you should have delayed the whole Please game until you actually had an entire finished game to release. Next, we have a special guest. Mr. Miyamoto! Hello, it's been a while. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. Have you cancelled the movie yet? I have yet? a few things I'd like to share with you today, including some news. Yeah, I have to about golfing the people. As you may have heard, 
The Super Mario Brothers animated movie we're developing with Chris Melodandri from Illumination will release next spring. And Super Nintendo. Yeah, when's the Nintendo World, NFTs? The so they said they were going to do, but they're saying fuck it anyways. Japan will also open in Hollywood, California, in the U.S. Recently, we've been working on the finishing touches for both. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Pikmin. It's been over 20 years since the and first house goes, and we're still <laughs> working on the series. The Mario name alone. We've seen literally nothing about this it. This is Pikmin Bloom. Oh, okay. It's a smart device game we started with okay, Niantic fair. late last year, in which players okay, all fair. over the world are planting Niantic flowers. Niantic Mobile Nintendo game. Yeah, fair. Here's a quick rundown. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Calm those bonus back down. Calm those bonus back down. Your Pikmin bands. Continue being disappointed and upset. You're not allowed happiness. You can find Pikmin, Stop it. Stop. Stop. Together. You'll be sad and miserable and you'll All enjoy you it. All you need to do is take it with you on your daily walks or outings. You can look back at the end of the day and see where you walked. Send out Pikmin and collect the items they found that day. Sorry, you know why you haven't gotten any more Pikmin games? It's because I haven't started playing the games yet. Pedals. Yeah, uninstall Twitter from your phone. I just don't look at my phone. So how many the, steps? It started at mid midnight for me. I go to bed before well, that, and then I wake up and go to work, and then I just work, the and then I come home and immediately do this. So it's easy to avoid. <laughs> Pikmin are all around you. Well, the Mario was so cool when he said this virus. How many Mario at all over the place? I have nearly 700 Pikmin. Again, it's just. Nectar. If you give Pikmin nectar, Chris Pratt's like, gonna here, come out and talk like and Chris Pratt, and that's gonna be your Mario, You'll and it's gonna be terrible. Taken that day. And then, and then, Regarding um, the Charles Martinet is actually going to be a character. Walk, so He's going to talk in Mario's voice. And then Mario's going to turn around, around and say, Kyoto, not in a million I've years. Going to That's Osaka, what's going to happen. Universal Studios, Japan. That's what's going to happen. And you'll fucking love it. And you'll love you'll it. Well. And you'll love say it. to yourself, okay, this time I'll try There's walking a here. It makes approach. trips and walks a lot of fun. It's a very easy going play experience you can enjoy just by taking Where's Digimon go? I hope you'll try it out. Okay, now to the main I event. Please I don't, take I don't know anything this. about any of these. Do we actually have a trailer for the fucking movie yet? Could turn out like the Sonic movie. I have not seen that. I do not keep up. I don't keep engaged with stuff. Wait, this is like, wait, this is like actual Pikmin. Wait, this is, this is like Pikmin graphics on a mobile game. What's happening? Is this actually a four or is it a remake? Holy fucking shit! <laughs> wow! Wow, what's happening? Never mind, Pikmin fans! Be happy! Get those bonus to the sky! That's right. Pikmin Overdose on happiness and joy! There you go! Today. There However, you go! You'll be able to play like this. <laughs> From the Pikmin's perspective. Wow. Wow. Friends, I can only get the full line of the post credit saying I love that character. Nintendo Switch has made it all screaming from across the country. <laughs> concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. We call it Dan Dori in Japanese, or strategically planning, deploying, and commanding. How mad are those people have been? Uh, those the great three, uh, three deluxes. Um, Thank you, Mr. Kozumi. Great um, three deluxes out of four. Thank you very much, Mr. Miyamoto. Have Pikmin 1 and 2 gotten re-releases? Now, let's move on like to some more headlines. Oh, they have the re-releases on the Wii for the um, new play controls. I don't know if they have... Dancing game to the next level. And um, Pikmin 3 didn't get, a, didn't get a Switch port, did it? That's Wii U, so it might use the game better shitload. I know people have told me to play Pikmin. Don't worry, it's on the list. Don't worry, it's on the list. You got Pikmin 4 without me playing it, so you should consider yourself pretty lucky. Just, uh, we so playable um, on the goat the Wii here. Sorry, my Wii U will always be plugged in. That bitch is never getting unplugged. Just Dance 2023 not supported on Wii, rip. That's the first one then, isn't it? That'd be the first one then, right? I think that would legitimately be the first Just Dance that isn't on the way. Wow. I really think that'd be something that continue for as long. I was about to say as long as I, they possibly could. I guess that I guess we're 
maybe I'll pause that point. <laughs> we'll probably pause the point where it's feasible. The end of an era. Can you survive the season of death? Oh, oh! This is the farming sim that has battles. Have a Stella. Nice. Cultivate a peaceful farm life in the village. So it's officially become people. the more prevalent casual console. The season of death. I mean, yeah, at this point, with like its install base. Returns, threatening to destroy all. Oh, it's still not Travel cheap. Travel the world and find it's a way to put cheap. an end to the calamity in this life simulation RPG. Along the way, allies with different motives will join your cause. Well, the farming animals should be non-binary. Hell yeah. You'll begin to uncover the truth of this ill Hey, when we lost Soha Vestella, this was me After just this going, see, this is what I want from my farming sim. Something that makes it, like, stand season. out from the pack. Though that is five. Save Though this is five in this direct. Game once purchased. Harvest you can count it as six. Switch, you can count 4. it as six if you want to save Rain Factory. And the rest revealing that for the last six of Farming Simulator. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. We've seen so little of it. It's possible. Years, Umbra Witch Bayonetta was revived in the present. Day. Bayonetta three. In the first Bayonetta game. She clashed with angels to recover. I'm still lost tentatively, ner tentatively nervous about Bayonetta three. To save her best friend. Because there's a world of difference between a Platinum now, game this third coming out in 2015 and a Platinum game coming out in 2022. Ah uh, yes, a best friend that she has sex with and lives with and is married to. She's gone from fighting for herself to fighting for others. Isn't that like for the world. confirmed? Haven't Those the devs confirmed that they're a couple? With to fight I thought the devs literally the confirmed that guns. Jean and Bayo were, were a thing. And another Umbra witch, Jean. New ally, Viola, also joins in on the action. A hair raising. I love how Bayo got a Nero. Demon <laughs> I love that Bayo got a Nero. Girl Nero, three. hell yeah. Okay, it is Nintendo super soon. Again, I'm still nervous as shit about this because Platinum haven't put out a good game in a really Nintendo long time. After Rip Battle on Solo, Nintendo whatever the fuck the game is called. It's gonna die less than a year after it came out. Um. <laughs> so you know. A dark fantasy mystery abounds from the creators of I was literally about to say that looks like a Dongan Rumpa. <laughs> Bella's fault wasn't their Welcome fault. To the city of perpetual rain. There's only so many, so many times many you can turn around and say, don't worry, this Platinum this project that failed, it wasn't Square's fault. There's only so many times you can say that. Those While also their other games Master not Detectives being good. Who come from all <laughs> before you have to world. accept that Platinum aren't as good as they used to be. They did not want to make a game of service, they want to make it a regular game. No, I totally- I understand that. I understand that. I don't think you can- I don't think all of the problems that Babylon's Fall has is from it being a game of service, though. <laughs> and again, the other games that they've put out also haven't been great, so... Shinigami will conjure a realm tying the crime scene to the truth. A mystery labyrinth. I gotta say, this is getting the um, Danganronpa art style. Mysteries to edge this is getting the art, um, Danganronpa beds. art style into three um, into three D a lot better than um, Optus Vegas did. Attempt to hinder your progress during each case. Avoid their barrage of falsehoods and slash through contradictions. But it is. <laughs> of master you can definitely tell that it is trying to be. First on the Nintendo Switch okay, 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 okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't. I guess the, uh, unless the rest of the dev team, unless the rest of the dev team is people who made Dangan Romper. This is still a Spike Chunsoft venture. I don't know how many people left Spike Chunsoft from Danganronpa. But like the lead dude did, and I thought the lead dude had some people who went with him to go and um make the other games that they've done. With like the guy who um also left, I believe, also with people from um 999. Like Zero Escape. This is still Spike Chunsoft. So it's not so again, I don't I don't remember exactly how many people left Spike Chunsoft when um the lead 
left as well. Maybe he was like one of the only people who left and the rest of the team is still there. And and um I can't remember the names, so I'm really bad at names. Um but like the lead dude of Danganronpa, he left Spike Jonsoft. They he went and made a game with a different company with um the lead of the um Zero Escape games. Apparently that game is also not very good. It's like at um World's End Club or something like that. That's the Zero Escape guy. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, apparently, yeah, they like went together to make our World Ends Club, which is apparently not very good. Um, <laughs> that's what I've heard at the very least. But unless like the rest of the stuff, unless the rest of the staff is that, because it's just if like if if hardly any people who worked on Rain Code were the people who worked on Danganronpa, but the publish is the same, it feels cheating to just be like, hey, look, from the people who published the previous game. I mean, the art style is very similar, so the artists and stuff might still be there. Look, it's Danganronpa-ish, so I'm interested. The thing I heard about World Ends Club um, um, is that it wasn't what people thought it would be. Uh, that was the only real complaint I heard, which is to say nobody actually talked about it, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'd be a fan of World Ends Club for as long as I played it. Mm. To the village, if you dare. I mean, that's a Danganronpa that they showed us there, so I'm intrigued the enough to at least check it out a bit more to see if it's something that is worth is me playing. coming to Nintendo <laughs> Switch as a cloud version. Ethan Winters Literally no real complaints that this wasn't very engaged. Village, and it's four That's fearsome lords worse. to rescue his abducted That's daughter. Worse. Resident Evil Village Cloud I, launches on the I genuinely Switch, think that's worse. You can download and try out the free demo today My drink is on out. Nintendo eShop to pre-order the full game. The Winters Expansion DLC containing a new third-person mode, additional story content, and more. God, I am so excited. I am so excited to watch Max play the Rose DLC. Other recent entries in the Resident Evil series <laughs> I am will be so excited to watch Maximilian Dude play Switch through the RE8 DLC. I am so hyped for it. <laughs> Again, DLC where you play as Rose is so good. I'm so glad that's where the DLC for it's going. It's an action-packed lineup of Nintendo. Kind of, I'm shocked that it's not RE9, but I guess they want to do something else with RE9 that, that like focuses on the um, the blue umbrella stuff. Kung Fu so, action brawler. By that? thrusting, tripping, and parrying opponents, you'll break their stance and gain the upper hand. Fall in combat, and you'll get older and weaker. In My turn, however, to you'll oh. learn new techniques to complete your mission. Can you exact revenge before your time runs out? See pause here. Its way on I have paused. I have paused. I have paused on the cultural appropriation game. <laughs> Apparently, Sifu was made by a shit ton of white people. And, like, the press kits they sent out were, like, super. Immediately after Crisis, uh, Sifu is the Crisis School bit. Onto Nintendo Switch November 8th. Pre orders begin today. Right. On How Nintendo many seconds Shop. is it? How many seconds am I skipping for? I'm just gonna press arrows and we just skip and I just don't look at the screen. Am I still on Crisis Core? I'm seeing the word Radiant Silver Gun, I think I'm safe. I can't see anything Crisis Core! It's gonna be years until I play Crisis Core, but don't worry about it. Arcade Radiant Shima Silver Gun! Radiant Silver Gun is coming to Nintendo Switch. Fire different types of weapons to take down waves of enemies. Defeat multiple I may have skipped another game in between, I don't know. Chain bonus. Or take down differently colored ones for a secret bonus. Rack up these bonuses. I have no idea if anyone watching is like a massive shmup fan of Radiant like diehard shmupness. Switch later today. I haven't seen anyone talk Recruit their opinions the about um Soul Crystal, the shmup that um Platinum made. In this -like I have no idea whether that ca universe. came out as being like a good shmup. But or anything. it's not as easy as it Again, sounds. it's Platinum, so it could. So it's Platinum, so the chances of it being dog shit compared to good nowadays are higher. So. To unlock new heroes, but I also said no one talk about it. It's almost like more. when you announce that you're making a game, you shouldn't announce it as an April Fool's bit, and then like a year and a half later, announce that it's real. Because then people still don't year. think it's real. And then no one cares when it comes out. The journey of world regeneration begins anew. Yeah, sounds like a JRPG. Remaster of Tales of Symphony oh, I was right. is coming to Nintendo Switch. The world That's what happened with like a dragon. Controlled by shadowy forces called Desiance. Yeah, but to the difference them, is, is that people want um it being up here as a bit and then they did it for real. Yeah, but I really hope 
The difference is that, like a dragon, it was like a complete another change. But just hey, look, it's an RPG, and if it was like actually, that'd be pretty sick. They'll meet allies along the Where for Soul Cresta, it was just like Soul Crest is a sequel to a long dead franchise, like of like Terra Cresta and Moon Cresta and stuff, and Soul Cresta just never happens. So it was like something that people were like for a while just being like, yo, that could be a thing. And then they announced it and then said, ha, it's not real. Wasn't that hilarious? Begins its journey on Nintendo Switch early next year. And then no one talked about it when they said, okay, but we actually decided to make it. No, Tales series, um, <laughs> got to the moment they get a second remake. <laughs> Why didn't Tales Symphony Collection PS3? It said it's probably just PC version of the first one. <laughs> I feel like I am so unknowledgeable of just games as a whole. There's so many game things that happen that I just don't know anything about. <laughs> For someone who's based their entire hobby on playing video games and stuff, I've kind of based the entire thing on I know very little about any fucking games ever, so any game that you love, I can play through for the first time and I've got no idea about anything about it. <laughs> what do you mean Season 2? I thought they were after like, oh unless like the first batch was like series or waves or stuff and Season 2 is like a whole big new thing. Kirby! Wait, isn't this the intro sequence Kirby's for Return to, Return to Dreamland? To Dreamland? Is coming to Nintendo oh! Switch. Oh, okay. One day, a sure. spaceship crash lands on planet Popstar. To help Magalore return to his home planet, sure. Kirby okay. and his friends set off on an adventure. Why does DVD look like that? In addition to sword, whip. Why does DVD look like that? Abilities, the new mecha copy ability makes its debut. Oh, what the Blast fuck? <laughs> from a distance, or All right. Catch him up close. Kirby's a mech now. It's packed with other powerful moves as well. more design opposed the to his design from back then. It's ugly. It's so terrible system. and I hate it. Plus, it's ugly as shit and I hate it. While using their it looks awful. Wait, fuck, go back. There's also a collection of sub games to play. This has got some jank on. It looks Magnus terrible. And returning ones it's like so Super bad. Kirby. All sub games can be played with up to four players. What did they do to his face? An adventure of deluxe proportions awaits. What did they do to his face? Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe launches on the Nintendo Switch system. Why is his face fucked up like that? I get it. Pre-orders begin today. On I have played Return to Dreamland. It's one of the few Kirby games I've actually played. As part of Kirby's 30th I say few. I've done Triple Deluxe as well. A remake of Kirby's Return to Dreamland will be released. We hope you're looking forward to this game. I can't remember those others. Oh, Dream Course. Thank you for watching today's Nintendo. Easy's Direct. model from Smash or for, uh, Forgotten Land or original thing or Kirby 64. The Smash this one. Next trailer will be our last announcement. Just use the Smash one. Please take a look. Oh, last thing. Oh, you're presenting it to it. Oh, fancy. Yay! Is this gonna be Zelda? That's looking Zelda y. He's putting land design, pretty sure. It's ugly and I hate it. That looks like a Zelda. Could be a Zelda. That's a fucking Zelda! It's a Zelda! Yay! Single time, let's go! Show me. Show me everything, but also nothing, because I don't want to know anything about the game. <laughs> Look at the last you forgotten lands. Look at only Mazaka, my boy. Giant fucking door! Cool. Let's start the Dark Souls game. <laughs> go, let go! Oh, Jesus. Oh god, this game's gonna have so much fucking verticality. Oh dear god, what? Oh my god, oh my god, you have a hang glider. Oh my god, you have a hang glider. It's an Ouroboros! It's an Ouroboros! We get a name! Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom. 
Interesting name. Interesting name. Yo, wait, wait, that's me, right? Was that enough of everything and nothing for you? That was literally exactly what I wanted. That's literally exactly what I wanted. I'm excited to see literally nothing else about this game until it comes out. Is this May or December? <laughs> Is this May or December? <laughs> May 12th? May 12th! Yeah! Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> ah! Why was there an Ouroboros? I don't want to know anything! But I'm excited! It's probably me. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, oh, hi, Mark, by the way. Hi, Mark. I got your green name confused with other people's green names. Hi, Mark! <laughs> I hope this trailer didn't air in the UK, and that's probably why. Sherwood <laughs> 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 Suck is a member of the royal family died and made us up to air a game called Tears in the Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing more because the queen's dead than because that it, because that's funny. Oh god. Uh, it wasn't uh, live in the UK. They uploaded the bot on time, but they didn't stream it. <laughs> difference is a big thing. What difference does that make? Interesting title. Interesting title. I am excited. I am excited to see your Breath of the Wild. Of course, I'm excited, but I'm glad that I know nothing. I'm glad that I know nothing. There's a lot of verticalness. Verticality seems to be the big thing for it. Which is awesome. And I'm excited. And I'm excited. Yo, if you like farming sims or Square Enix RPGs, you are fucking eating today. Now we'll have to learn to call, call it by the time. What's the fucking... What's the abbreviation of that, then? What's the abbreviation of that, then? Totka? I mean, it, I guess it's as awkward as Botwa. Botwa and Tok and Tokka. TikTok, just call it TikTok, got it. <laughs> then I have to do with her death and promotion for like a reason. This is a joke, don't sue me. Because <laughs> the developers do too much. It's got like jumping off a cliff multiple times. I'm excited for that. Laws Botwa Tokka. Fantastic series. Fantastic series. Go, Breath of the Wild 2! Tears of the Kingdom! Yes! May. Fucking. Okay. Uh, that, that means, that means, if it comes out May, if I actually want to do the Breath of the Wild thing that I want to do, I have until May to do that. Well, I should probably do it before May. But that gives me time to do it at some point. Though I need time to be, have, like, a week off of work to do it. But, you know, being May next year, that is possible. That's poss- it's within the realm of possibility, at the very least. Um... So, there wasn't, like, a ton in this direct for me. I mean, like... Yeah, this is confusing. This is how this works. Um, I mean, like, a new Fire Emblem, like... It might be a good game, but it's going to be so far away from for me that, like, I can't even think about it, really. Um, but, you know... I'm sure the Fire Emblem fans, fans are happy, and, and anyone who isn't is fucking furious. Um... A Splatfest is really soon, and it's such an awkward date for, um, for me to play it, but that's fine. I mean, like, there's not a ton in this for me, though Pikmin 4 is amazing. The fact that it has... The fact that it, Pikmin 4 is here is fucking huge. Rain Code could be interesting, but again, I don't know how many people who actually made Danganronpa are actually on it, so... Just basing it on the publisher is, like, not really fair. So happy for the blue muppet. I think this is this is a direct where Fatal, Fatal Frame also goes to emulating it with a translation patch. It feels good. Again, for certain people, rhythm game fist, fist, rhythm game for Fist of the Null Salt, that's better than Tears for um Tears of the Kingdom. That's better than Tears of the Kingdom. I can't even like go back and watch it because all this preview shit is completely and utterly fucked up. That is better than Tears of the Kingdom. That's straight up the best thing here. Um that. I can't click here and it will go to it because it will bring me to that. It doesn't work properly. But there's that. But, um, like, there are certain things here. For certain people, this is hype as shit, right? The Pikmin fans are losing their fucking mind. I'm losing my mind because just getting a title for Tears of the Kingdom is amazing. 
um, and stuff like that. Overall, there's not, like, not much specifically here for me, but there are certain people who are losing their fucking minds. And I feel like I just watched a wholesome Dorettes because there was too many fucking FARMING SIMULATORS! <laughs> just then shot above the fist of the door. Sub brave, you be soft. <laughs> no one can hold a candle to, um, to, what's his name, Kentaro? Is Kentaro his name? I forget the I forget the fist of the Mozart dude's name. Is it Kentaro? I feel like I'm correct on that, but I could so easily be wrong. Kenshiro, sorry, Kenshiro, sorry. No, Kenta Kentaro is the is the fucking four armed tiger from Mortal Kombat. I'm pretty sure. I think that's Kentaro, right? I gotta quickly Google. I'm pretty sure that's Kentaro. Is it not? Or is that Kintaro, Mortal Kombat? No, Ken, yeah, yeah, no, oh, Kintaro. Kintaro is the four-armed tiger man from Mortal Kombat. It's Kenshiro. Time to rotate between that and Ring Fit. Sorry, I mean, Jonathan, yeah, yeah just Jonathan Joestar. Um, look, Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild 2, Tears of the Kingdom, like, that's the big thing for me, obviously. I, like, Breath of the Wild's one of my favorite games. Um, and I've been hanging for the sequel for fucking ages. I'm fine waiting this long. Um... But yeah, getting Breath of the Wild 2 is, like, amazing. Pikmin 4, certain people are losing their shit over that. Like, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't bad. There's just not much mind-blowing stuff there. And, like, some, like, some directs are just very targeted for, you need to be a fan of this genre. Like, some, some directs are just like, hey, you like action games? Here's your shit. And this is a direct that is, hey, do you like Square Enix RPGs? Then here you are. Fucking feast. Um, anyway, we're gonna stop there. We're going to watch the PlayStation one, but for the YouTube video, that's it for now. I will see you at the PlayStation Direct. So until then, this is version 2, signing out.